Hello, guys, and welcome to Otson Lican Match Day 6 after the midweek games, uh, and we had some success. Um, how are you, my friend? Uh, seven out of ten, Alain. Good week. Hello, Edu. Yes, yes, yes. It's a, it was a lucky day. It was a lucky day. Sometimes we we have that uh, that type of uh, intuition, and uh, we hope uh, it will be it will be followed with that. Uh, that risk, but is is difficult. Eh? We we don't must to have it uh, uh, so good. The the people and uh, everybody have uh, had his uh, mistakes. Exactly, and we have a very balanced uh, league, and apart from PSG, of course. So, guys, uh, remember to like us and to subscribe to our channel to know more about uh, every single tip that we are uh, doing for the five big competitions in Europe. So let's start analyzing this league. And, and we have three games on Saturday because, remember, there is Champions League the following week. Uh, and we have Oseg Maxel with a great start from Olympic Maxel with Tudor in this uh, season. Gueye scored the goal and Alexis Sanchez missed the penalty in the last victory for uh, Maxel. Remember that they are playing against Tottenham in the Champions League. Uh, so, Alain, do you see travel for Maxel going to Oxeg, uh, a team that uh, started the season very good, I would say, with seven points, losing very closely against Lyon? Yes, yes, Oxeg is a, is a team... With a with an idea idea of football, with clear the one of the the possession of the of the ball. We have two teams uh, with uh, a lot of difference in the model of play. We have Auxerre uh, who want the ball, and we have Olympique Marseille who want uh, attack fast in the in the transition. And that one, I think, is is one of the difference uh, respect to the era San Paoli. Uh, the team is more vertical. And their attack faster uh, respect to the to the past. Oser suffer that type of uh, of team because uh, it's a team with a defensive line really high in the in the field and Marseille love that especially for uh, in the in the wing uh, with Klaus and uh, Tavares made a very 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 good uh, beginning of season. I saw goals for that uh, that game. Both teams score. Odds 1.70. Okay, and on Saturday, we also have Lyon and Je with 10 points for Lyon so far beating Oxer with Toko Ekambi scoring one of the goals. Uh, remember that they have one game less, so three victories and one draw is a great start for Olympique Lyon. Alain, I guess we should go for another victory here because Ange, they are really, really poor, even uh, losing against games, as you predicted, by the way. Yes, especially in the defensive phase. Angers lose that, and uh, we said that from the beginning of the season. Um, uh, without uh, Romain Thomas and Ismael Traoré, uh, we saw a lot of uh, a lot of problem. They conceded so much. We saw uh, again uh, yesterday in front of a team like uh, like Lyon. It can be a big problem for uh, score Angers, but Angers can be scored more than in the in the past. The team has a uh, something more in the offensive uh, phase, more solution. Uh, we saw yesterday the team able uh, to uh, momently draw the, the game. And after uh, his uh, mystic, mistake in, in defense, uh, pay really, uh, really um, hard the, the team of uh, the West of France. Now, for that game, I saw, I saw goals two, uh, over 2.5. The odds 1.50 for an Olympic school on ship. Okay, we are having, by the way, many both teams to score eh? in this uh, league one in the first games. For instance, Monaco, Lille, and Game, all three games, uh, all three teams. Uh, so every single game. Both teams to yeah. score, so it's a good bet overall in the league and going for both teams to score, perhaps also in the next game. Alain, Nantes, uh, PSG, PSG, they have a tough debut in the Champions League against Juve, so I guess Galtier will uh, put some players on the bench to give them some rest. Uh, they won again against Toulouse with Messi giving two assists and now... It's time to go to Nantes. Uh, six points for Nantes. Uh, remember that these teams played already this season, was in the Super Cup. 
Yes, the Super Cup Nantes was in another moment. Yesterday we saw Nantes able to draw the the game in um, in Strasbourg. Uh, there can be changed totally the results uh, in front of Toulouse in the in the last uh, in the last journey before yesterday. We saw a team with character, with um, an identity really really strong, and it is a good signal for Nantes because Nantes will be uh, play back uh, in Europe this season. Um, I think some doubts uh, for the player affect a little the, the team, especially Ludovic Blas. Blas will be stay in uh, in not not have solution. They don't lose. They're losing Marseille, but they're great and uh, um, they'll be able to uh, to catch a positive uh, results. Now PSG have a reaction because PSG against Monaco it was a um, a deception. Because um, it's clear when do you do you have that type of uh, of possession? The time you pass in the the last thirty uh, meters of the rival, you catch a draw, uh, is a, a deception. Y- yesterday they had a reaction against a team not very experienced with their miss experience yesterday to lose to uh, uh, to put more in difficulty Paris Saint Germain. I saw no scoring in this game, PSG evidently too, <laughs> and uh, both team to score 1.80. is important, is really important, Edu, to say in Liga, the, the average of the goal are really high, mm. are really high. It was a lot of here, we don't saw that uh, number of uh, goal, and uh, we hope uh, that we follow in the, during the season. Especially, for instance, Alain, in the next game, we have Montpellier, Lille. Uh, Lille, 10 goals scored, 12 goals conceded. Montpellier, 15 goals scored, 9 goals conceded. So I guess this is a clear over, according to the stats. Montpellier following the strike after that 0-7 against Brest, uh, beating Ajaccio at home, whereas for Lille, second defeat uh, this season for Fonseca's men. Yes, both teams depend with... Uh with the door open, basically. Uh, we saw that from the beginning of the season. It, it's difficult for both teams to win 1-0 uh, a game. Um, every week here, we take a risk with a special hot, um, with a probability not so high, but we must to take a risk because we love the, the risk here. And I think for Montpellier lost, we saw again yesterday Montpellier uh, score in, in every game Montpellier uh, be able to, to score and uh, lead to and uh, for that game over 3.75 the odds are really high 3.75 for minimal four goals in Montpellier last played uh, will be played uh, something ah. A golfist, uh, then we should uh, watch closely this game because we expect uh, a lot of goals in the Montpellier Lille. Then we go to the islands, uh, to Corsica. We have Ajaccio Logian, only one point for Ajaccio, but it's true that they had a very tough calendar, a very tough run of fixtures, uh, Alain. So it's time for them to find a reaction uh, with Lorient, but Lorient uh, started the season quite well, I would say. Uh, they were thrashed uh, by Lance, as you expected as well, but they beat Clermont and Rennes already this season. Yes, in the direct the game, Lorient catched uh, the point uh, their need to, to save the category. The draw in Toulouse, too, was, uh, was important. Uh, now, Ayacho, in the first three games, the content was really good. They don't win a lot of points, but the content was good. From two games, the content is uh, uh, is poor, because against Lille, against Montpellier yesterday, it was two games where you must to, to win minimal one point, especially yesterday. Um, is a difficult moment. I actually have a lot of Character is a team with a, a strong identity, with, with experience. Is not the last call, but is the call of the beginning of the season mm-hmm. for many reasons: for the point, for the uh, the psychological aspect. To Ajaccio, must to win. 
that uh, that game is the second risk I'll be taking uh, this uh, this week because Lorient in the defensive phase yesterday we don't saw a brilliant Mvogo in the goal and Lorient uh, received five goals is uh, is a lot they concede I think Cagliari can be win that game I choose uh, the victory of the the Corsica team odds two point forty for Ajaccio winning. Okay, they are the favorites actually. Uh, Lorient to win 3.2, Ajaccio to win 2.4. Um, then next game is Brest uh, Strasbourg. This is a tough one because uh, as the odds are showing, Strasbourg they are the favorites with odds 2.4, but they have they've been really disappointing so far this season. No victories for them, only three points, but I guess, Alain, they are favorite uh, because Brest, they are not in great form after this 0-7 against Montpellier was their last home game and they also got defeated on Wednesday against Hans. But Brest is, is strange. It's strange because um, sincerely, I, I wait more than uh, this Brest. This uh, of the beginning of the, of the season, we saw a, a serious team during the, the summer. And uh, now the team are, are in, in in crisis. Basically, they are in crisis because they they resist so many goals. And that one for a team of Michel Dazakarian is is really strange because normally Dazakarian build his team uh, from the defensive phase, from the solidity, the aggressive, the, the a team really short in the in the field. Now we don't saw that. We don't saw that. Um, but in change, Strasbourg. Is in a very good, very bad, bad, bad moment because we expect a lot of Strasbourg from the beginning of the season. They doesn't win uh, a game from the beginning of the of the Liga. Um, they have three games at home. Normally, Strasbourg are really strong at home. Only two points uh, at home uh, away. They catch the point in, in it, but they lose against the uh, Osea. The feeling are not. The, the best eh? for uh, for Strasbourg in this uh, in this moment. Uh, I think Brest uh, can be uh, catch point in that game, and I choose the the double opportunity one x odds one point sixty two to Brest doesn't lose uh, Sunday. And uh, important also for the relegation, the next one, Clermont-Toulouse. Remember that the four teams get relegated this season to Ligue 2. And I guess we expect these two teams to be fighting against relegation until the end. Uh, six points for Clermont, losing against Marcel in the last match day, but showing a good face. Five points for Toulouse. Nothing to say, of course, uh, if you get beaten by PSG. The only victory so far this season for Toulouse was against Trois, Allen, and I guess this one is tough to call. The bookies expect actually a draw. Yes, yes, we can we can agree that. Uh, now, if we analyze the team individually, um, yesterday we saw a, a Clermont with another identity. Clermont, in my feeling now, they have behavior. Um, to change the chip about the, the model of play. Yesterday we saw a team with with three center central uh, defender. Uh, that one give a lot of solidity um, in the internal uh, game, and they protect really good the the area. Uh, now to lose the problem is the defense because yesterday I agree it is not a reference game because when uh, do you are uh, New income in Ligue 1, playing uh, against Paris Saint-Germain is not a gift in this moment. But in the last game, they they received three goals in not. Is six goals in the last two games, the two goals against Lorient. In the defensive phase, I think uh, um, something is isn't right. Montagnier must to to uh, to found to search and found. Um, Solution because it can be a problem for the for the team of the south of France. For that game, I saw a ah, Clermont Ferrand favorite because they have more experience uh, in uh, in Ligue 1, and uh, I choose the doesn't take a, a risk and I choose the double opportunity one x 
hot 1.53 to Clermont doesn't lose against Toulouse. Okay, if you want higher odds, of course, you can always go for Clermont draw no bet. And in this case, if there is a draw, you get your money back if you still back Clermont for this game. Uh, very interesting is the next one, uh, Reim. Lance, you tipped uh, correctly. Reims beating Angers and getting the first victory of the season to four, even if they were playing with 10 men. Now, Alain, it's going to be tough because Lance, they are absolutely on fire. They only drop points in Ajaccio. They beat Lorient, they beat Rennes, they beat Monaco. It's a tough calendar and they are getting the results. Yeah, it's a difficult game. It's a difficult game because uh, both teams uh, are well. Lance from the beginning of the season, Reims uh, from the last uh, three games, we, we saw uh, the improvement in the collective uh, perspective, in the individual perspective, uh, uh, with some player can be decided uh, the game and not only one uh, one player. That one is, is a good news for, uh, for Oscar Garcia. Now the question is, would face will be stay in, in Reims? Is, if face fires uh, we believe there will be super in the defensive phase because um, Pires in the last two seasons, I think he is one of the defenders is most improved in, in Ligue 1. Uh, now, Lance, we know the team with an offensive powder, really, really crazy. Yesterday, the uh, main official uh, Seco Fofana will be stay in North and loss. That one is the best. Uh, uh, news because it is his best player. For that game, I choose both both teams score because Lance concede in every game they concede occasion to the rival. Uh, One point seventy seven the odds to both teams scores in Reims uh, Sunday. Mm, the Fofana that is getting uh, transfer is the one from Leicester <laughs> to Chelsea. Yeah. Not the one from Lance. Um, next game Trois. Run, I think the biggest surprise of Wednesday was Trois beating Monaco 2 4. We will talk uh, about Monaco in a bit. Uh, six points for Trois, seven points for Run because uh, they were able to beat Brest in the derby. And the bookies expect them also to beat uh, Trois. Uh, Alain, Run really favorite for this game 1.8. Yes, yes. Uh, the question is uh, Trois is. Improve a lot, or Monaco uh, is not in his best moment. I think that the second, the second uh, choice, because Monaco um, with the one zero, they uh, they stay with with, uh, with ten player, and that one have a, a big influence in the in the game. Trois uh, was be able to score four games, four goals in Monaco. That one uh, is a really good point for uh, for Trois. Um, the Trois doesn't uh, start well the season. Um, I think in the last journey, we saw an improvement in the collective uh, perspective, especially in the defensive uh, defensive phase. But now, Ren, Ren a, a big ambition. Ren seeing uh, Guiri, I think, is a, is, is a good, good, good uh, signing for the, the Breton team. Genesio known him from the young... Uh, a category in uh, in Lyon, and I think that one can be give that point of the quality of the creativity they're needed in the last 30 meters. Uh, Stade Rennes, Rennes is true that have a lot of problem away, but Sunday I saw Rennes in form. Um, the season finally started for uh, for them. And I think Rennes can be winning in three odds, 1.85 for Breton team uh, winning Sunday. And the most exciting game probably of this match day is the last one. This is a derby in the Côte d'Azur. We love the Côte d'Azur, especially in summer. Alain, so let's go to the Allianz. Uh, Rivière, Nice, Monaco, five points for both teams, but a start for both teams this season. We expected, or you said, Alain, that the season for Monaco should start against Troyes, but they lost to four after that draw in the Parc de France against PSG. So only one victory for Monaco this season. For Nice, actually, they got the first victory of the season in a tough stadium like the one at Lille. Wow, what to expect in this game? It's a tough one, eh? 
Uh, it's difficult. It's difficult mm. for me. Based on you, you present really well the game, the situation, the moment about both team. I think Nice, um, like totally unexpected, the, the winning in uh, in Lille yesterday. Nice has changed a lot of things. Guiri is gone. Dolberg leave uh, needs uh, to go to uh, to Sevilla. Laborde is coming. There are a lot of changement and I, and I think that can be can be make us understand the problem in the vestiary and that one I, I don't see uh, I don't know if uh, the victory about yesterday can uh, can be the the starting of the season for uh, for Nice but they have a big opportunity to confirm that victory in a special game for the fans a special game for the team a special game for uh, Lucien Favre too uh, to working with uh, more serenity because in this moment uh, Paul is one of the of the manager um, more in doubt in uh, in Ligue 1. Monaco is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> totally. It's, it is really difficult to, to read and predict the game about uh, about Monaco. Uh, in Paris we saw uh, um, the the brother of the, the Monaco of the beginning of the season, a bad brother, aggressive, uh, really, really short, um, with a lot of solidarity, able to uh, to uh, to create uh, danger in transition uh, in front of uh, a team like Paris Saint-Germain. Yesterday, what happened? He's back the, he's back the bad brother. And, uh, which version we will be so in uh, Allianz Rivera? For that one, I choose the victory of Nitz because I think Nitz uh, is a really young team and they're, um, they're, able, they, they're working they're uh, working a lot with the emotion. And the victory yesterday gave a lot of positive emotion to uh, to Nice. Um, odds are really interesting because I think it's really possible Nitz winning uh, Sunday. Odds 2.88. The team who uh, lose that game have maybe uh, a possibly uh, change substitution of the manager mm. because Fav and, uh, and Clement are in a really uncomfortable situation. At the start for the two teams in the Côte d'Azur, remember that Nice uh, lost recently the other derby against Olympique Marseille, 0-3, no victories for them yet at home, but Alain, expect them to win. They are not favorites, they are the underdog for this game, so the odds are very high, uh, around almost, almost three, as Alain was saying. Then, Alain, which one is your favorite bet for this match day? The safe bet is Olympique Lyonnais, Sco d'Angers, victory of Lyon, odds 1.33. And uh, your ACA for this match day, Alain? Yes, Auxerre, Olympique Marseille, both team to, to score. Olympique Lyonnais, Sco d'Angers, over 2.5 goals. Stade de Reims, Racing Club de Lens, both team to score. And 3, Stade Rennais. All right, uh, Alain, thank you very much. Uh, the odds for that are 8.34 for your ACA. Thanks, Alain. See you next week. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Remember that uh, you should subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our videos. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.